we're asked to evaluate and simplify the expression a plus b when a equals three-tenths and b equals one-tenth. The first step is to substitute three-tenths for a and one-tenth for b, and then we need to find the sum. So the expression a plus b is equal to three-tenths plus one-tenth, and now to find the sum, remember, when adding fractions, we must have a common denominator, which we already have. We have a common denominator of 10. So to find the sum, the denominator stays 10, and now we add the numerators. Three plus one is equal to four. So now we know that three tenths plus one tenth equals four tenths. But we still need to simplify this fraction by simplifying out all the common factors other than one between four and 10. Four and 10 share a common factor of two, so one way to show the simplifying would be to divide the numerator and denominator by two. Well, four divided by two is equal to two, and 10 divided by two is equal to five. Two-fifths is simplified because the only common factor between two and five is one. This is one way to show how to simplify the fraction. Another way to show the simplification would be to write the prime factorization of four and the prime factorization of 10. Well, four is equal to two times two, 10 is equal to two times five. Using the prime factorization method, notice how we can see the common factor of two. Two divided by two simplifies to one, and therefore four tenths simplifies to two fifths. So there is more than one way to show the simplification of a fraction. Next, we're asked to evaluate and simplify the expression x minus y when x equals 11 fifteenths and y equals 6 fifteenths. So we'll first make the substitutions. We'll substitute 11 fifteenths for x, 6 fifteenths for y, and then find the difference. So the expression x minus y is equal to 11 fifteenths minus 6 fifteenths. And once again, to add or subtract fractions, we must have a common denominator, which we already have. We have a common denominator of 15. So the denominator stays 15. And now we subtract the numerators. 11 minus 6 equals 5. So now we know 11 fifteenths minus 6 fifteenths equals 5 fifteenths. But again, we need to simplify this fraction by simplifying out all the common factors between 5 and 15 other than 1. Well, 5 and 15 share a common factor of 5. So to simplify the fraction, we divide the numerator and denominator by 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. 1 third is simplified because the only common factor between 1 and 3 is 1. We can also show the simplifying by writing 5 as 1 times 5 and 15 as 3 times 5. And because 5 divided by 5 simplifies to 1, again the fraction simplifies to 1 third. I hope you found this helpful.